Hi there, it is Linda Jean and I'm back. I'm not going to do any special intro because I just don't feel like it. It has been a bit of a crazy summer. This led to my July vacation ending up to be quite a bit longer, like three weeks into August. It all began when at the end of June we figured out that we had to change brake pads on the SUV and that I would be without a car during the day because of it. It isn't really safe to drive a car with brake pads that bad, so... Uh, well, this led to a lot of frustration because I had no real freedom while the car was disabled and it stayed like that for quite a while. The first brake pads we ordered took three weeks to get here and we did order from a Norwegian company and they turned out to be too small even though the website said that they would fit. We had to order new ones and return the ones we got waiting another two weeks for those. I was pretty much stuck at home because my husband had a late vacation this year and our daughter was home on summer break from late June to late August as usual. But now the car is rolling again so that's fixed. As for the summer weather, it started out cold and then the heat came with a vengeance. During the worst of it we went for a swim in a local lake. The day after we heard the news that a number of people who swam there that day got sick because of a sewer system that was undersized or something like that. Fortunately, none of us got sick from it. On the days after, we went to a set of rapids called Merrafossen in the village where my husband grew up. The name means Mare Rapids, so it has something to do with a horse. After about two weeks of very hot weather, it got cooler again and rained off and on mostly during the night, for about three weeks. It's now been getting a bit warmer again, so it's been comfortable. In the last two days, it's been pretty hot. Because we had a heat wave in April, everything has been a couple of weeks earlier than usual when it comes to plants. Right now, they're harvesting the grain. From what I can remember, that usually doesn't happen before the leaves are more yellow than green. And this is what it looks like outside right now. When the machines that trim the roadside drove by our house at the beginning of August, they tore down our landline, which we use for our internet connection, so I couldn't get the things I had planned to do at the beginning of August finished. And I'm not exaggerating when I say they tore the cable down. This is what was left of the cable that crosses the road. We had to wait eight days for them to come and fix it, and this is because it was during the vacation season. They didn't have that many repairmen on the job. For nine days, we cared for the neighbor's two pigs while they were in Denmark on vacation, making sure that they were fed and that the water supply and fence were working. The grandfather was at home, but he was disabled, so he couldn't do it. It was a fun task and the grandfather asked us to pick their strawberries as well, which made it even better. Strawberries in the summer is a real treat. By the way, that grandfather recently passed, so it was nice to have some last memories of him. Of course, there was some health stuff as well. I am, after all, someone who lives with chronic pain. It started off with a week or so of bad pain days in July, leaving me without the energy needed to do anything but I, what I absolutely had to do. And having to clean the house because of visitors during this time was not enjoyable at all. <laughs> like housework is ever enjoyable. I got an eye infection at the beginning of August as well, which made making the videos I had planned pretty much impossible. That's all gone now, so it wasn't a big thing. All of these things did limit how much I could create, and I didn't draw or paint that much, except for finishing a drawing on a tarot deck that someone bought. But I did get some other things done. I added 
pockets to two skirts and three pairs of pants that didn't have any. I will never understand why they do not put proper pockets on women's clothing. And I also did some other repairs and refashions. Some web projects also needed to get finished. I finished a website for a client and I built a website for my sideline offers of web design, graphic design, tech help for websites and similar services. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. You can take a look if you're interested. The link will be in the description. It's available in both English and Norwegian. In August I also created a pen case for my daughter for when she started seventh grade. Oh my, time flies. As you can see, she's quite the metalhead as well. So we're three metalheads in the house now. But yeah, I built myself a new computer too from parts I got from a friend and I thought it looked rather funny where it laid. So I created this. Right now I'm trying to figure out my schedule again and get back to business. I hope you'll bear with me as I do this. Some schedules do need to change to make it all work and this does include YouTube. But I haven't decided what needs changing yet. What was your summer like? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Did anything weird happen? Did anything super fun happen? Hit me up with a comment. Oh, and before I forget, something weird happened too, which I'll bring up in my next video. And just to warn you, it will be rather opinionated. So, now you've been warned. I will see you next time. I hope you like the photos. Bye-bye.